Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of the Undisputed Career Mode. Um, in our previous episode, we got a pretty big win against a notable opponent, Sergio Martinez. Although, I looked in the rankings, and even though I beat him, he is actually still ahead of me in every single, um, you know, sanctioning body. So, I don't know what that's about. Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Boxing doesn't want me to have a world championship. Sorry, I gotta take this robe off. I got a little warm. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, guys. All right. Anyway, I got my fight sharpness and weight pretty much right on point. So we're gonna see who we can fight. Daniel Jacobs. Hmm. Man, Daniel Jacobs. That's a pretty big payday. I might have to do him. Let's see. Okay, really big power. What was his... Um... Yeah, pretty good punch speed. Was he... Increases flash knockdown chance on power punches thrown by 50%. Damn. Yeah, all right. I think we're going to fight against Dan Jacobs. No rematch clause, right? Good. All right. I accept. It's going to be a big payday. Okay. How am I, how's my team looking? All right. They still got one fight left. That's cool. Time the train. First up, we have the machine from the United States of America, and they hold the SCI national title. Coming off a very close controversial win, let's see if they can be more definitive in this one. It's Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs from the United States of America. The last time we saw them in action, suffered a very close loss. Let's see if their fortunes turn around here. It'll be ding ding from first bell, they're off. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from the United States of America, wearing the red trunks with red trim, the machine. Hiding out of the blue corner, from the United States of America, Daniel Jacobs. So much hype surrounding this fight. And now it is go time. The wait is over. The speaking stop. The fight begins now. Let's get the answers. Under the bright lights here for this one. Really good matchup, and we're hoping for a really good fight. We're hoping for an hey. all-action slugfest. Y'all notice I actually did kind of change my attire. Change the color of my trunks and my gloves. Right just misses. Really, everything. All right, Dan Jacobs, you're a fast man. So was Sergio Martinez. There's one thing Sergio Martinez had that you do not, and that is his southpaw stance. You know they have an amazing relationship with their coach. They've been working okay. together for a while now, and it's really paying off. One of the best rounds I've seen this year. Been fighting a lot of noble names, man. In the last couple of episodes, we've gone against Kel Brook, Ame Mongia, Sergio Martinez, now Dan Jacobs. Pretty soon, they're gonna have to give me a shot at the champion. Both these fighters got to be careful, though. So much for boxing. This is a fight. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Okay. Do my jab. This boxer is a real hook specialist. Their opponent has got to watch out oh. for that. Well played, Danny Jacobs. Well played. I swear, this is like the most my jab has ever landed in any fight. 
I usually do not have this much success with my jab. Oh, how does that miss? Come on. This round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Whoop. Okay, that was weird. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards. Gonna need a knockout. The bell, sometimes it couldn't be the same. Yeah, well, I had success with the jab. I noticed that too. <clears throat> and there's the bell to start the round. Hey. Right. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? You know, one thing that's been annoying me in these last couple of episodes is that, you know, even though I've managed to hurt a lot of these guys, I might be able to stun them multiple times in the same round. It is getting very hard to actually put them on the canvas. Oh my god. Oops, a little stutter frame. Not great. That uppercut scored. Oh yeah, I changed my down goes machine. What? As we watch it again one more Hold on, what the hell? The perfection of that knockout shot. I've got to see that again. Dude, seriously? Catches me with an uppercut and puts me down. Son of a bitch. There we go. All right, Dan Jacobs, you've awoken the beast. Well, he's back on his Get over here, right fucker. The corner's got to think about throwing in the tackle. Got to look at his corner, look at his structure. They're trying to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee. Save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. We're at the halfway point, and there's no doubt who's won this round so far. The corners must be so so happy. Down to a team, play the fun out. Oh, you're lucky that hook missed. Well, I was gonna say before I got knocked down by that uppercut, is that uh, I actually changed my punch style as well. Change it to the Canelo Alvarez punch style. Because why not? Output. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. Good. Oh. If I can knock you down with my own uppercut, that would be amazing. He got us with a good shot, but you know what? That's okay. It's not the first time I've been knocked down. Don't worry. They ring the bell and here it ain't gonna go. be the last. The most important thing is that I continue round. to get up. <laughs> he has like no answer for the jab. Okay. He has an answer for everything else, but he just stands there and takes all the jabs. It's fine for me, I guess. Score. Oh, you're lucky. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Dude, come on. There's a counter shot. If he's throwing a body shot as I'm throwing an uppercut, my uppercut should not miss. I'm sorry. It just shouldn't. I can't believe we're only halfway through the round. Not a lot of punch out, but thought there might be more action here. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now, this fight will Ooh, say, oh, that's done them. That notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. Timing beats speed, speed beats power. Nice. They are giving us a high tempo show. Oh, got him. And 
certainly no rest for the weary. Oh, oh, oh. Taking a, breath, a very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Oh, oh, oh. Starting to get to him a little bit. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. I okay, I gotta watch my stamina. And there's the bell to start the round. Draw the draw the start of the uh, fourth round. If it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Oh, I love this. Tried to score with a jab. Nice little body shot. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. Nice. It's going to be this kind of fight, man. Throw out a lazy jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. What a round so far. Good. We've reached the halfway point. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. Ah, oh, you're lucky. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. Oh, come on, I should have landed. A straight right just misses. Nice. I stunned him a bit. I know this round is going to take a big toll on my stamina. But I got to keep the pressure on them, you know. Big swing and a miss. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Might take a round off. Counter punches have to hurt. I'm probably gonna have to take a round off now. Judging can be sometimes. There's no doubt who won that round. You can't leave it up to the judge. We're hoping for slugfest. Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Card, my motto is: if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. I keep trying to sneak in body shots when I can. Nice! That's a good counter. Suck that one in too. I do not land jabs this often, man. This is amazing. Ooh, suck that one in too. Nice. Oh, come on. Really thinking about stopping it. Both nice. these fighters have had their moments. He couldn't seize the moment. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, yeah. recompose yourself, and boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. <laughs> Nice, got that one in. We wanted action and they are delivering. Damn, I got too much. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Both my power hooks to the body miss. Both sides. Nice. Was almost a 10 8 round, complete dominance. Dominance hmm. without a doubt made it look so. 
Okay, I mean, Stamina looks about even. Nice. Starting to break down his block, too. Damn. Oh, got him. Damn, bro. What's it take for a knockdown? Damn. Ooh, there it is. Ask you shall receive, and we are frozen. Okay, that's better. First replay was just frozen in place. Boom. One more. I don't really know what the best angle is. Probably that one. That's cool. Get replay. There we go. Got a little buggy there. That's all right. That's big, man. Finally, even on the number of knockdowns for both sides. Got to pick things up halfway through the round here. The referee says they can continue, but how much more do they have left? Hard result. I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up on the stool again? That was a shot. Well, now it's about getting back to the corner. Freshen up, get new instructions given to you, and they've got to gear you up. They've got to tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're doing right. Oh, come on. That body shot should have landed. Punch, counter punch. Damn. Nice counter shot. Oh, so close. Why that step so back straight? That you... Final 10 seconds here, and I think he knows he's won this round. Nice. <laughs> Good round for me, man. Alright, I'm up, I'm up. Dude, where did my body hooks go? When he's like leaning back and you just stand right in front of me like that, and I'm throwing body shots that, and they somehow miss, like where do they go? Why do they miss? Wait, am I cut? What the hell did it cut me with? Just misses with that left uppercut. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I didn't realize my block was so bad. The winner of this surely will get a world title shot. I hope I get a world title shot, man. I'm trying to get there. Stamina is off the charts. Oh, come on, I should have landed. Pretty close fight here in this round. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. They're so close, so close. Nice. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Defense is not an option for these two. Okay, got that one in. Jab won't score. Ice can't be missing shots like that. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Okay, starting to land some shots now. Nice. Okay. 
after what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. I have not been able to get a finish, man, in a while, so I would really like to be able to get this guy out of here. Never know, though. My motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Nice. Body. Another body. No rest for the weary. Oh, you're lucky. Bro, how's the light, how's the lead body hurt miss? Oh, the uppercut, but misses. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one's dead. Okay, good bye shot. Turn. I don't know where the hell my uppercut went. That would have been nice if it had landed. Missing with the hook. Damn it. Didn't time it right. No rest for the weary. The round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oh, come on. We wondered how good his chin was, but no one's chin standing up to that shot. Jesus. See that again. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four. Ah, are you all right? Yeah. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we uh, We're doing so well and then they get knocked down like that. It's infuriating. Let's see what this has in store for us. Pause, listen to me. I knocked somebody down like that that round. You know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this you watch what's gonna happen. Good body done, shot. Very, very like when I land these body shots when he has low stamina like that, I would have thought that they would have had more of an effect, you know? Punch counter punch. Jesus, man. Caution is being thrown to the wind. It's just my fight style, man. Always ends up being this kind of fight. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. Jesus. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. <laughs> Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Missing with that right hook. Bro, seriously? That straight miss to the head. Made it happen. Good. Finally. Come on. Finally, yes. What a war. Put him on his ass. If I can get him down again, I might be able to get a finish, but I don't know how likely that is. Apparently, it's going to take more than that to keep this fighter down. That is a show of cut. It looks like he's going to survive the round here, but just barely.
<laughs> little sneaky body shot at the after the bell. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. You're being put down. Oh, that's where I'm cut. Cross my nose. Alright, man. I'm well ahead. Literally just have to avoid getting knocked out, and I've won. Bro, how's that right hook miss? He literally lunged right into it. Put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punches better. Good. Oh, yeah. Bye, shot. They throw a shot, they get countered. And they're down. Oh, yeah. You thought it couldn't get any worse. And oh, yeah. We play, you can see it. Body punch, mm. like a lawn chair. Where did that come from? What a shot. One more angle. All right. Gotta find the best one. Hmm. Twisted his ankle too as he was falling down. Stay down, Danny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought that was going to be a knockout. He got up right at nine. Need to pick things up Still got a minute. The second half of the round. They're back on their feet, but how long will they stay there? The corner needs to think nice and Ooh, short. Ooh, on stamina, though. They know what their fight's capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. Don't waste time. Nice. Behind the referee. When oh, you're lucky. Up, the referee's then got to pull you. Still going to be pushing for that finish, man. Just got to make the most of it, because if you let him jump back on you again, He's gonna get momentum and put him down again. Nice. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. Ooh, bye shots. Bro, how's that miss? Hook just missed. Final 10 seconds here, and the corner better get warmed up. They've got some work to do. Getting overzealous, I guess. Bro, that didn't land, seriously? Yeah, take that. What a dominant performance, and it shows up on the judges' scorecards as a unanimous decision victory. They've done it before. Try to get them out of there, man. These guys are stubborn. These guys are very stubborn. 133 body shots. You know. Three knockdowns. It is what it is. One of my fight rewards. Let's see. What do I got? Whew, that's a nice payday. I'll move up one spot. That's lame. It is what it is, man. Alright. Two courage, three discipline, one health regeneration. I like it. Okay, oh yeah, I got So my manager and my cut man. My coach still has one more. Let me see. Jeremy, huh? You pretty much see all across the board except for your recovery, which is an A. You're a B, let's see. Hmm. You could be good. Ooh, Jamie Shelton. Hmm. Well, I definitely have the money to sign you. Do I have the fame? I do have the fame. Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try you. I'll try you for a bit. Okay. That's my cut man. 
Now my manager, let me see. Sequency like your B D D B your C. Hmm. Go with another, I guess. Yeah, why not? Good, good, good. I'll still keep my coach for now because I still got one more fight with him. Oh, I gotta get my fight sharpness up again. I don't know how I get so undertrained after a fight, man. Especially a fight that goes the distance. Still in the top 10 for all these rankings, man. WBC, I'm ranked 7. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's WBO, I'm ranked 7 2. Yeah, it's just. Okay, a few more times. One more. What's my weight at? Yeah, yeah, we're good. What do we got, man? Hmm. Well, that's not exactly what I was looking for. Thought I would have more notable names, but based on the options given to me, I guess I'll go with Elijah Edwards because you give me the most amount of fame. Anything I need to know about you? Anything too spectacular? Oh my god, you're so much slower compared to the other guys I've fought. Makes sense because your overall is much lower too. Alright. Um... No, I don't want a rematch clause. I don't want a rematch clause. Get that out of here. That's a tile defense, too. Well, that's fine. Cool, cool. All right, I'll get this training camp underway. This bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Hiding out of the red corner from the United States of America. Wearing the red trunks with red trim. The Machine. Hiding out of the blue corner from the United States of America. Wearing the red trunks with red trim. The Rockstar. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Words are cheap. It's the action that says it all. We'll find out when the first bell goes. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We've been waiting a long time for this matchup. And here we go. We're hoping all right, defending all my title. Let's see what we got. Now, given the disparity between our overall ratings. I should be able to get this guy out of here. And if I can't, then I'm going to be severely disappointed in myself. Because I think this dude's like a 78 overall. I just got my character to an 88. That lead uppercut, such a dangerous punch to throw, but it pays high dividends. And, you know, if I can't get a dude out of here with that much, you know, difference in, in skill, Maybe I don't deserve to be in the top ten. Nice straight. Damn. You'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing presence, but no, they just want to fight. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Just throwing jabs repeatedly, trying to find my distance, my range. Oh, a stiff jab. That was a nice body shot. Nice hook there. Nice. Oh, damn is low. I'm gonna be looking to land those body shots if I can. 
I don't know how that lead body hook missed, but alright. I do need a block these body shots, but... I don't know that man, pretty good round for me. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Dominance without a doubt. And there's the bell to start the round. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we gonna have in this round? Todd, my motto is if it's not broken, why change it? An oh. excellent last run, <laughs> good step back. Worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. There's nothing quite like the chemistry between a fighter nice. and a coach, and this partnership is working great. Oh, his head else is red now. Good. Damn, dude. incredible. Head health is really low. I don't know how you're still standing, brother. Head health is so low. It's been in the red pretty much this whole round. No rest for the weary. Neat. Any classes on survival training from these guys, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh. How do these punches miss, man? Come on. Like that lead hook, man. How does that miss? about a one-sided three minutes we just saw it you can't leave it up to the judges it's up to you as the fighter they ring the bell and here we go Last so round many punches that should have connected and they're just not for, for some reason my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round everything worked wait for the reaction until then you keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won i guess one now. thing if it hits or block that's one thing but when we're standing this close, you can see from the record, this fighter is fantastic and is really we're standing this close and it just makes no contact whatsoever and the opponent is not moving at all. Like not moving his head, not using footwork to get out of the way of punches. By the way, the connect percentages but just standing still. And my punch misses when we're that close. There's no excuse for that, dude. Especially if I'm going to the body. Like, head can move, but body doesn't. That hook was off target. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. For the be honest, man, I thought I would have gotten a knockdown by now. The straight right just misses. What skill being displayed here between these two middleweights? Very close round with ten seconds there you to go. go. That body shot kind of stunned him a bit. Uh, if I can't knock this dude down at all, I'm gonna be seriously disappointed in myself. The amount of damage I've done to this dude so far. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An 
excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. When you thought we'd see a lull in the action, here we go again. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Punch, counter punch. I don't know how some of my punches are missing, man. point of this round. How? How does that miss? I know this fight could be much cleaner. I'm trying to get this dude out of here. And we may see a stoppage here. You know the scorecard is going to be all over the place in this one. This could be the end. You're so lucky. You are so lucky. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Such a sloppy fight that I don't even care. Who won that last round? Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. My motto is: if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing. Because you've won that hands down. So much for boxing. This is a fight. They threw the hook. It didn't land. How? Where do these punches go? If someone punches that hard, you don't want to trade shots. Many body punches, man. Should be landing, but they're not. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. He's willing to go where the other fighter won't. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Come on. His stamina is off the charts. Going to punch himself out there. He threw a punch and just got countered. Good counter punching. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. It's such a sloppy fight on my end, man. I know it could be so much cleaner, but I'm actively chasing the finish, man. I do not want to go to the decision again. I'm sick of going to decisions. Target. A lot of 
effort being exerted here. Oh. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. How are you not knocked down, man? Stamina is off the charts. Why weren't they covering up? Finally. My God. As he goes down. I don't think we can truly appreciate what we saw unless we see it in slow motion. I need to see that works, man. Two, three. Boom. Jesus, these guys take way too much damage. They really do. to win and refuse to stay down as this fight continues. But now it's about getting back to the corner, freshen up, getting final 10 seconds here and this has not been his round for sure. You're so lucky, bud. You're so lucky. Swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8. The bell to start the every single round. round. Let's see what Only knocked him down score. once, so can you believe that? We just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle, man. He's got a, he's got a bluff. Him. Holding nothing back here in the round. I'll stick to him like glue. Swing and a miss with the hook. See how much body health he still has, though. His stamina is off the chart. I don't know how that didn't knock him down. He's putting the pedal to the metal, but has to be careful that he doesn't run out of gas halfway through the round. There it is. The corner needs to think about stepping in here. Takes a deep breath, but right back into the line of fire he goes. Three days now needs to steady the pace. People are ridiculous. Should not take this much to freaking knock someone down so consistently. Trying to loosen things up, I like it. Like not saying you can't recover from a dazed state, you can. See it all the time, both in MMA and boxing. But like when you have no block, no stamina, and it doesn't even seem like your movement slows down at all when you're dazed. Like, that's gotta be fixed. I'm sorry. That's just wrong. It should not be a thing. Like, this dude's gas. And despite all the body shots that I've landed, like, his body health probably doesn't seem much different than mine. This is what you call championship round. If you have done the work, slept right, ate right, wrecked right, I'm expecting you to get through this. If not, if you cheated, the ring can be the loneliest place in the world. Like, somehow I have done more damage to his head than his body. Doesn't make any sense to me. Jesus Christ. It takes way too much to knock these dudes down. Please stay down, man. For the love of God, just stay down.
This is why I don't have a whole lot of knockouts on my record now. 16 of my character's 31 wins have been by knockout, but reality should be way more. There it is. Upset this would be. Come on. What do I gotta do, man? This is crazy. What round is this? Seriously, what round is this? Round number nine of ten, dude. I have been on a constant attack of this dude. I have swarmed this man's body when he has had no stamina. I have worked his block to where it is pretty much, like, non-existent at this point. And despite that fact, I've only knocked him down twice. And I've probably stunned him more times than that. But every time I stun him, he finds ridiculous ways to just continue to survive. With that jab. And this is a 78 overall rated character. Right? This isn't someone that's like 90 overall. I have an 88 overall rated character right now. And I'm struggling to freaking put this dude on his ass. We almost saw a knockout a second ago, and now they're going toe to toe. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot. Clear the head a little bit. I have like every conceivable advantage. I know, Jesus. As you can see, it was a hit to the head that did it. Let's watch it again. Where did that come from? What a shot. Most of the time when I'm knocking him down, it's not even with body shots. It's like head shots that are putting him down, which is ridiculous because I've been like pretty much exclusively focused on the body this entire fight. Jesus Christ, this motherfucker got up again. Like, my character is getting tired from the sheer amount of times that I've had to punch this dude. What do I have to do to put this man down? Oh my god. Finally, my God! You could see it in their eyes. They saw that punch coming, and there was nothing they could do. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? This this whole damage system has to change, man. I hope whatever update they bring in December is a big one, because this I, this is ridiculous. He still gets up! Son of a bitch! His legs are gone, but somehow he's still in this fight. There's always a way back, though. Never on any... What was that? At least three knockdowns? Maybe four? And there's the bell to start the round. You gotta be feeling confident now after what happened last round. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. I've knocked him down four times so far in this fight. You can see the heavy breathing, but that's not slowing him down. Where was the defense? Why weren't they covering up? Why weren't they more cautious? Oh my god, get go on. And he looks like a Thank you. Rock star as he goes down. Oh my if this dude gets up again. It's crazy. Mm. I s if this dude manages to get up again.
Jesus. I had to wait till the last round before I could get him out of there. That is, that's ridiculous. A character that is rated 78 should have no business lasting that long against a character that has a 10 point difference in the overall rating, man. I think his overall punch power was like, I don't know, like around 70. My left hand power alone is like 80 something. I think my right hand power is close to 82. Like, to have such a big disparity like that in every single category, and for this man to get knocked down five times and somehow survive until the very last round is ridiculous. The almost 200 body shots I landed on this man. And like our stamina is pretty much the same. Like how the hell does this make any sense? It's ridiculous. I should have had that man out like by round six at the latest. But I defended both belts. Hopefully I climb the rankings up. No, not really. One spot. Ugh. It's crazy, man. It's ridiculous. And a concussion. Cool. Can I actually heal my injury? What are the odds? Fine. There we go. Nice. Concussion. Magically healed. <laughs> Alright. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a different coach. Don't get me wrong, man. You've been a good coach, but... All right, you're a C. Okay. Joel Diaz, huh? Hold on, what do you have? B, C, C, D, D, C. Hmm. Might try you. Yeah, why not? Unless I can get an A. Ooh, actually. Damn, you cost a lot though. Oh, Joe Gallagher. That's a lot, man. That's a lot. And you know what? I have the money. Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, what what was this? Minor injury. What was a minor injury? Is that the concussion? I just didn't read it in time. No. Anyway, this has been a painstakingly long video, man. Jesus, like, who did I fight? Danny Jacobs. Did I fight him in this episode? I'm already losing track of the guys I fight because these fights last so long. But yeah, man, um, I might have to just focus solely on just power because I need to be able to get these guys out of here, man. This is crazy. I'll see y'all in the next one.